Okay, uh, showing intermediate results. Uh, this is the new uh, uh, LAC roller I bought. It's uh, from uh, Hama, which means uh, rubbish uh, in uh, Dutch. Uh, this is uh, bookbinder glue. Uh, this is the intermediate uh, pot. And this is the, the larger uh, Debbie. Uh, these are the the boxes that I made, um, they turned out to be crappy, so what I did was um, put inside some reinforcements uh, from uh, regular uh, yeah, Hegel slack or uh, cereal box. Uh, this is a bad idea because the, the bottom uh, is uh, three layers, so it's uh, an uh, enforced enough but you can see that the flaps are a single uh, layer so the best uh, advice I can I, I can give is to put the um, cereal box uh, before you go cutting and folding and you want the the smooth side to be on the inside uh, because the the outside is uh, uh, whitish, uh, so it will not uh, tarnish the, um, the feel of, of the, the outward box. And uh, taking them out and putting them in makes it easier. Another drawback is that you can't really uh, cut nicely the, uh, yeah, the circular things. So uh, I did the best I could, uh, otherwise the alternative would be to have them, uh, um, to print them uh, again. Uh, next up, well here uh, you see the old IT books uh, that I use for weight, paperweight, and underneath there is the um, uh, the sheets uh, that I um, are that are drying in the, in the uh, under the weight, uh, so tomorrow I can take them out. This is the last uh, most recent uh, thing I uh, I printed. Um, one thing uh, tip. For practical purposes, is to um, to take into account the fact that um, the printing surface uh, can uh, be a bit off here. Uh, now, for this, it doesn't really matter because you can rotate it. Uh, but for other story-based things. It does matter. So, for example, if you take this, which is 118, oh wait, uh, 126 should correspond with 126. But if you print them out like so, uh, they will not um, match. Now, the um, the the, 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 the the common sense approach would be to use pins, uh, these things, and anchor them in the corner. Uh, as you can see, I cannot anchor them in the black corner, so I have to use the intersection point which is also uh, taken out. I have to use light for shining through. Uh, so this was the, the normal approach. Um, then you use clamps and then fold. Uh, use the roller for rolling here. Uh, smoothen it out and then repeat for the for the other part. Um, the smarter approach is to compensate 
in advance by cutting. So then you have less potential error, but you have to make sure that you don't cut too much. So, for example, this, and also the other part, and, oh, and well, um, in a Christmas Scrooge kind of theme, it saves you a little bit of glue of the parts that you cut off you don't glue. So that is the tip that I can give. Um, double check of course before uh, gluing because gluing is forever. And if you shine it through you can't see it in the you can see it like so. Yeah, so you match these together, and you also have to check for the height. So, well, it was a long time ago. There are a lot of things that you learn uh, just by doing. But uh, yeah, so it's uh, showing some progress. Um, I glued uh, for Northwood, uh, Rolf, and a few others. Um, yeah, and normally it takes a few hours. For bookbinder glue uh, to um, to dry, uh, but I, make, I want to make sure uh, because when I when I cut uh, for the for the final for uh, for the final uh, dimensions, uh, I want to be really sure that uh, uh, it is dry, completely dry, because uh, otherwise it will tear, and that's uh, hard to uh, to compensate for. So, well, you have uh, at least a sneak preview of uh, the things I have uh, <laughs> I'm building, and this is uh, not even released yet. So, um, yeah, great. Okay, hope you liked it. Bye.